Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nick Smith here with Duraguard Paver Sealing and Safe Non-Pressure Roof Cleaning. Uh, we're here on a paver sealing and a, uh, and a soft wash roof cleaning job here in Hudson, Florida today. Uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity. I've been getting a lot of requests from other contractors uh, in the forums as well as uh, emails asking how we have our equipment set up, what equipment we're using, as well as um, how we have our newest uh, addition to our company here, this 14-foot box truck, how this is set up. Uh, there's a few guys that were hoping to get a box truck uh, with their company. So I just thought I'd give you a rundown how ours is set up. Uh, right now I just connected the feed line uh, to the customer's garden hose. Uh, we have a 270-gallon tote. We typically drive around that's with it full uh, because this, is, uh, this job is a little bit further out of our uh, area where we typically service. We, we didn't have it fully loaded today. You can see here we have our... Uh, Titan hose reel. This is for our roof cleaning system. What I did is I have it hooked up on a cam lock setting. That way I don't have to worry about too much uh, maintenance on the reel. Actually there's now there's no maintenance for the reel. What I do is I want to, let's say we're, we're about to do this roof here, I disconnect it and I can unreel all of this 200 foot agriculture hose and then once it's all been unreeled I just connect this cam lock right back to it. not so easy when you're using one hand. Connect the cam lock back to it and uh, I'm ready for I'm ready to spray. Once it's done, we'll pretend we just connected that with one hand. <laughs> it's really a two hand thing. Uh, once it's been uh, connected, you know, I got I got a solid line, good feed line going right back into my uh, hose and I can get the chemical out there and, and get it done without it spraying around or anything where it doesn't need to be. Uh, really good. I love these cam locks, they're awesome. Uh, it made me bypass the uh, the the real the internal plumbing in the reel. That way, I don't have to rinse it out. We use Kynar pumps, so the, those pumps are top of the line, as a lot of you guys know. They don't need to be rinsed out, so I can just finish a roof cleaning job and not have to worry about cleaning out my equipment, and it saves us a lot of time. Moving on here, we have a uh, Steel Eagle high pressure line. It's three eighths hose. Uh, it's it holds up to 500 feet. Uh, typically we just use, right now there's 300 foot of hose on there. Uh, we don't really have much of a need for more than that often. Uh, we do have another 200 foot of hose in the, uh, in the truck just in case it's needed, but we, we really rarely, if ever, need to use any more hose than what we have. Walking around here. We'll take a peek at the other, uh, hose reel on the side so you get an idea. That's it feeding in right now. It's raining out a little bit. We got a nice drizzle going, so that's what all the water is about here. We have a hundred foot of hose on there. Um, I also keep more in the truck with me, uh, garden hose, but like I said, we typically don't need it. And here you see how we have our truck set up. This is all the equipment needed. Um, I'll start with the flooring. What we did is we put an epoxy coating down on the floor, uh, something that you typically find in garage floor epoxy coatings, uh, or that you'd find in garage floors. Uh, the benefit of this epoxy coating is, let me take a step up here, if God forbid, you know, if, if I have a hose break or something or there's a big leak in here uh, or water, a hose blows, which is common, and water gets into the wood, let's say I just had bare wood on here, um, it, it, it can, I run the risk of it rotting over time. Uh, with this epoxy, water cannot penetrate in there. I also put a non-slip additive, the same additive that we use for our brick pavers. Um, a non-slip additive on here so if it is wet or if our shoes are wet from you know working we're not going to slip when we're standing on here so it's it's good for the employees as well also in the floor you'll see a little different setup back here what i did is we put a uh, a border we made a box pretty much in this uh on the floor here and i siliconed around all the edges of the box and then we had it rhino lined uh, the purpose of this rhino liner is this tank here, this is our, uh, our mix tank for our roof cleaning agents. It, they're very caustic. If we were to spill that on here, I mean, it gets on any of my equipment, it's going to corrode it and destroy it. Uh, so that way, if anything were to ever spill, it all stays contained into this box, which has 10 uh, two-inch holes all throughout, drainage holes. There's 10 of them, so God forbid if anything were to spill, it's going to stay contained in that container that, that we built there. 
and it's just going to drain out the bottom and not, not get on my equipment. I'll get you started with the equipment over here that we have. We've got two surface cleaners. Each one of my trucks carries a 20-inch uh, a surface cleaner, mainly for the pool decks, things like that, small areas. We also carry these 36-inch, uh, the Maxima 36-inch from Whisper Wash. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome surface cleaner. I love this thing. It it makes, uh, you know, knocking out a big driveway like, like Cakewalk uh, or any, any large areas, especially our commercial jobs. We've been doing a lot of commercial work lately on these large community pool decks. And, I mean, it it cuts our time. It just it, it's, it's crazy how much time it saves us. Carry three lances with us. Um, just in case one were to fail, you never know. It's always good to have a little bit extra equipment. Uh, we carry a fine bristle broom as well as a little more of a coarse broom uh, to help us with our uh, when we resand the joints for favors. We also got this sweet tool. Uh, it's great for especially like around commercial pool decks and stuff like that where people like to spit their gum out. Uh, if our equipment's having a hard time getting any gum out, we just scrape it up a little bit and it comes right off. Or we just put a chemical down that helps eat it up real fast for us. I'll show you how we got our uh, our plumbing. So we saw that uh, the green feed hose on the outside mounted underneath the truck. That comes up through the floor here into this quarter, three quarter inch hose. We get, it gets filtered and then it goes into my little contraption here. I can turn this nozzle for it to just feed our pressure washing tote. Or let me step around here. We have a hose that we connect to this if we ever need uh, a hose for whatever. Uh, we have that additional spigot there in case I need that. And then I can turn this nozzle on, this nozzle off, and now that's feeding into our roof cleaning tank. Turn that off because I just want to fill up this one for now. Now, when we go to fill up our chemicals for our roof cleaning, we got a pretty nifty contraption here that I made. Obviously, uh, we we get our sodium hypochloride fresh, uh, so when we pull up to the plant where we get our chemicals, instead of getting the uh, instead of storing it ourselves, keeping it in our shop. Uh, for you know a month or two it, and it starts to lose its strength. We get it fresh for every job. So we'll come Plug it into here It has a little hose that plugs right in there turn the ball valve and this is gravity fed Obviously the gravity is just gonna pull it all the chemical right down into this tank here and When I have the lid off It just fills my uh, fills my tank like that and I never have to worry about bringing a hose through here containing caustic uh, chemicals it's gonna drip on my equipment and start screwing stuff up for us I never have to worry about that uh, we do keep two additional uh, 100 foot hoses or I'm sorry 50 foot hoses here rather like I said before in case we do ever need a little bit more hose and I keep another 100 foot there just coiled up I uh, still haven't had to need that I still haven't had a need for that in the time that I've been doing this but it's there for that day that I do uh, 400 foot of hose on standby. That's, that's a lot of hose uh, for most applications. I'll get onto our equipment here. Pressure washer. We have a Honda GS690 uh, pressure washer. It's a cold water unit. As you guys know from some of my other videos, we don't have a need for hot water for what I do. I've never run across the need in the years that I've been doing this, and you know, it's just it's not necessary for what I do uh, with the paver sealing. Uh, so we use cold water, it's an 8 gallon per minute general pump, and that's uh, plumbed out through the floor again into that, uh, that hose reel that we saw outside, the high pressure hose reel. Here we have our air compressor for our low pressure, we don't use a pressure washer, there's two different machines here, uh, air compressor for our pneumatic air pump, Kynar pump. Uh, Thanks to Kevin out there in, uh, I believe, Spokane, Washington. He hooked us up with this uh, pump, top of the line. It, it doesn't get much better than this, guys. Uh, these air pumps, I used to run a 12-volt system 
Uh, now I'm strictly pneumatic systems just because, I mean, you're going to get that longer life. You're not going to have to worry about your equipment failing on you or replacing parts or pumps or, you know, having two or three extra pumps in the toolbox for when they go out on you. Uh, you know, someone told me that that's, I always needed to keep a couple extra pumps on standby for when they fail on me. And I was just thought to myself, well, there's got to be a better way because I, I don't want my equipment failing on me. You know, we don't spend tens of thousands of dollars on each one of our vehicles to have stuff break on us. Uh, we also have some air chocks here uh, where we can connect air hose if we ever need to use, you know, you got the air compressor, it's good to have, you know, additional things. Let's say we want to fill up a tire, or God forbid, something, you know, a flat or something like that. We're able to handle that. We've got an air compressor on board, so Kevin hooked us up with this as well. Um, a great little thing there. Here I'll show you, we've got, the way I've got this set up. If I want to dump my tank, I can just close this ball valve off here, turn this one open, open this, and I don't know if you could hear that, but now I got water going through this one inch hose, or one inch pipe rather, pumping out the bottom of my tank. Uh, 275 gallons, it'll, it'll take probably a good 20 minutes for it to empty out, or maybe 15 minutes for all that water to empty out. Uh, but when we're, when we're doing these long drives and we don't need to pull around, you know, 270 gallons of water with us if we're going long distance, you know, it, it, it makes a lot of sense. Um, and then, you know, we never have to dump anything in here. So it keeps everything nice and dry the way I like it. What else? Here we got our uh, seal and lock pump. This is the pail pump that we use to apply our sealer. And I also got my wand for it there, my lance, and a shop vac for vacuuming out pool cage railings or you know deck drains or whatever else we may need to clean out. When we're on a customer's home, we wanna make sure we leave everything clean and pretty. We've got our external fuel tank here. That's for our pressure washer. And I got a toolbox that's mounted here for you know simple tools that we may need as we're on the job, you know, screwdrivers, you know, pliers, wrenches. Uh, not that we really have the issue of equipment ever breaking, but if something were to break, we're able to fix it, you know, and it's not going to have to end the day for us. Any questions? I think I covered any everything here. Uh, if you guys have any questions, give me a call or shoot me a message or leave a comment. I'd be more than happy to answer anything for you. Again, this is Nick with DuraGuard Paver Sealing and Safe Non-Pressure Roof Cleaning. 727-218-4221. Servicing Pasco, Hernando, Hillsboro, Bradenton, Sarasota, and even Orlando, Florida.